All right. Here we are at an example of how the scientist, or and specifically the biologist, can apply calculus to find rate of change for a uh, population of bacteria of growing bacteria, okay, or a growing bacterial colony, okay. And so this is only one question for the entire example over here. And so let's quickly read the instruction of the problem. The population of a slowly growing bacterial colony after t hours is given by, so here once again what we have here is our, is our uh, population uh, growth modeling function. So the, model, the modeling function says uh, p, uh, well it's a, it's a population for bacteria and so that's why the scientists there they use uh, the letter p for population. So the population size at time t equals uh, so 5 t squared plus 21 t plus 100. And so again in my explanation, we don't have to worry about uh, why and I mean how they came up with that because that's what the job for the, the, the biologist or the, the microbiologist to, to study and, and de develop. But so now for us right here, once we've learned about math and, and rate of change, then our job here is to be able to find the, the growth rate, the rate of change for those scientists. Maybe they're too busy, maybe they, they spend their time finding the modeling function and they leave that for us right here, the mathematicians, to calculate the different rates for them. So we sort of like work in partner so that we, we're all contributing into, you know, the different studies of life, okay? And so in that way, now let me write that uh, modeling function on the board. So the population size and here, the wording of the problem is a little abstract about the units, but see, it's, we can maybe for the scientists, for the micro scientists, they measure whatever the, 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 the outputs there, it could be, you know, in, in millions of, of bacteria, you know, at, at those time instants. But so their function here is the population size at time t equals the 5t squared plus, okay, 21t plus 100, okay. And so that's our modeling function. And, and as I said again, our intention here is not to find out how the scientists came up with this modeling function. We already, we just simply going to except that they have already done a lot of work to develop this modeling function. What we do now is to help them apply our calculus understanding to find the, the, how, fast the, how fast the bacteria population here growing at uh, two hours later after initial time. So back on the screen here, we find a, find a growth rate after two hours. Okay, And so that means uh, back on our board, the problem here simply brings us to, we're looking for P prime at 2, okay? And of course, the time parameter here is T, as a quick note here, T is in, T is in hours. That's all we need to add it. And then it's, yes, I do admit, uh, it's, and it's only an example, but it does reflect real kind of application out there for the scientists. So it's a little ab abstract here about uh, what kind of units for the, the output, but we can imagine it's millions of bacteria in, in, in that much time or something like that. Okay? And so P prime at 2 here in our problem, really, we have to look for the derivative of P. Simply it. Okay? And now, again, now, see, when, when the problem is about a speeding problem, uh, then we call that, we call rate of change the velocity. But for a problem like this, we just simply call that it's the rate of change of uh, population growth. And so among the scientists, that they call that the growth rate. So this kind of problem here for the scientists, the, 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 micro, the microbiologist and the, the, the biologist themselves, they don't do much with speed, they don't do much with velocity, but they do with, uh, they work with uh, uh, growth rates or a great rate of uh, growth. Okay, rate, rate of growth. Okay, or the growth rate right here. So, but in the end, this rate right here is the instantaneous rate, or in other words, the derivative of our modeling function. So here I'm looking at uh, 10t plus 21, and that is our derivative. And so now, quickly, once we've found the, the derivative of our the modeling function, which represents the general the growth rate right here of our the bacterial colony, then of our bacterial population, then P prime at 2 
is simply 10 times uh, 2. 2 is the 2 hours at, at 2 hours after, and after 2 hours, okay, plus 21. Okay, and that is here is going to be, going to get me uh, 40, 41. Okay. And so it's a little abstract. In, uh, as I said again, it's a little abstract, I admit, that, uh, in, in terms of the units here. But you can think of that. It, it, it could be whatever the number here. It could mean uh, it could means uh, millions of bacteria, right? Well, for scientists, they can count how many bacteria there are, how many bacteria entity in, in there. So it could be 41 million right, per, per hour. It's growing 41 million bacteria per hour. It could be that. Or only 41 bacteria themselves per two hours. It, maybe it's a slow growing, okay? But uh, whatever quantity that is uh, per, per hour. Okay? And so to find out if any of you are interested in the, uh, finding out what's the exact unit there, then, then you, you can bring your math understanding and start joining with the scientists to find out what, what they study. Okay?